you're being pushed by anxiety and anxiousness and fear, you stop. And you begin to come back to yourself. What am I afraid of? I'm in league with the infinite. As I draw upon the infinite, as it moves through me, there's no loss or lack in the infinite. It doesn't draw from anyone else. I can experience and I can realize as much as I want. I can stop in this moment and feel with a, a dynamic faith and a dynamic love. Remember, not based on circumstances and experiences and situations because the future self is not bound by experience nor defined by it. You're tapping into your future self, your higher self, and then you begin to eradicate the fear, and then you walk into the world saying, I'm available for my lesson today. I'm available to give my gifts today. I'm available to learn what I need to learn today. And it doesn't have to be difficult because I am eliminating the ingredient of fear and anxiety. You don't just rush out of your house all nervous. <laughs> oh my God, I got to oh! It's going to be a difficult day. Oh! No, you determine the gracefulness of the lessons you'll learn by the vibration and the frequencies that you are emitting. Be aware that you, your mind has been taught to see the world in a certain way. You don't really see what's going on. You see what you've been taught. You see how, how you've been hypnotized. And so when you look out upon the world, you see all manner of things that are going on, but you don't see what's behind the manifestation of all this nastiness that's happening. You don't see at times the, the beauty and the love and the harmony and the life that's untouched by what you're seeing. And so you have to, you have to regulate your mind. You have to say, I'm standing in truth and I see only truth today. I'm standing in truth, capital T truth, not facts. I'm standing in truth, and that's all that I see is dynamic truth. So you start to, to, to re-engineer your imagination. You start to train the mind differently to see that which is true. What's true? Omnipresence. What's true? Omnis omnis omnipotence. Omniscience. What's true? Beauty, love, intelligence, harmony, well-being. That's what's true. I see only that which is true. And then the virus of the mind that causes you to see separation will begin to fight and begin to try to hold on to that perception and all of the undergirding defense mechanisms that you have developed to have that perception and survive in the world of your own creation with a dynamic group agreement about it that lends itself to greed, avarice, hate, bigotry, racism, homophobia, not enough NASA that particular world that's been created by the misuse of the imagination with an injection of fear and doubt and worry, you begin to see through that world. You see through that world. Your mind begins to be taught differently. This is what we go through when we're training practitioners here and it takes a period of time to uh, grab the mind back from the world of experience and the things that have happened to us on an experiential level and to see the world for, uh, uh, from just from, from that experiential dimension and to have many little breakthroughs into, oh my God, there's a part of me that's never been hurt. Oh my God, there's a part of me that's always been alive. Oh my God, there's a part of me that will never die. Oh my God, until the mind starts to shape itself around that love and that law, and, and then a practitioner of truth is born. Not merely a licensed individual, but a practitioner of truth is born where the mind starts to see and look for the truth, you see. And now you can wake up and have the technology to go forth from your, in your day without anxiety, without worry. You don't deny that it's there, but you don't let it run the show.